Yesterday we took a trip down to the Rochester Public Market to pick up some of the things that we actually gave up growing. And um, so we got a couple bags of the uh, cooking onions that are for storage, a couple fresh picked pears, a beautiful Romanesco. Um, we really love this stuff and it's hard to find anymore. And some fresh picked broccoli and a purple cauliflower along with some of the first Fuji apples of the year. They're late this year in a 50-pound bag of uh, muck-grown potatoes that are the best potatoes you can actually get. And you can see my porch is pretty much uh, stacked up for, you know, hopefully till enough wood till January out there now. So um, we're all ready for winter now. We'll get this stuff put away in the root cellar. I just thought I'd show you how we cooked the Romanesco. I know I um, had shown them before and people had asked, so... It's really just simple. We just um, trim it up first, start by removing any of the uh, stem that's left on it and the outer leaves there. It's uh, kind of like cutting up broccoli. It's, it it, it kind of looks like a mix between broccoli and cauliflower. And actually it's um has more of a cauliflower flavor, but it's uh, this one was an extremely sweet one. So um, kind of like you put sugar on cauliflower and it comes apart like little Christmas trees when you cut the uh, the pieces off of it. We don't eat the main stem on it. We just cut off the uh, the flowers there. Every once in a while you find one that's got a little bit of you know markings on it and stuff probably from the bugs. Um, and like I said we we tried growing this one year but the uh, the bugs kind of did it in on us. Little worms in it and stuff and it was just a mess so I gave up growing this kind of stuff and um you know, I go down and spend a couple dollars at the market, have a fun day, and, um, you know, pick it up. Let the farmers that know how to use the pesticides to grow it, grow it. And, um, you know, we don't need a lot, of, a lot of stuff that contains pesticides, so I don't think it'll kill us. Anyhow, it's just a matter of trimming up, you know, the pieces. And actually, we're not going to eat the whole thing today. This is just enough for one meal, so she's just going to pull off some of the flowerets and leave the rest of it attached to the stem because um, if you cut it off it'll go bad really quick in the refrigerator but if you actually uh, you keep it all on the stem like that and you know just trim it down a little bit it'll last a, a good week in the fridge with no problem so with that you know there's a bowl full that we're going to eat and we get the uh, steamer pot out put a little bit of water in the bottom of that to uh, steam it and that's all we do to it it's just a uh, you know very simple steaming process and try to wash what you can off of it and uh, clean it up good there but um, you know that you can't really get the pesticides out that are in it so might as well enjoy them and we got the steamer going there and at the same time we got some uh, fresh scallops here so we're going to have them so I'm getting a pan ready to cook my scallops and all we do is we just uh, you know put this put it in the steamer just stuff it in there and um, usually we try to put in as much as we can fit in there and that's enough for a meal and then we'll just put the top on it and let it steam for you know depending on how much you have in there between 10 and 15 minutes and at the same time I got my uh, pan for the scallops just uh, some butter in there and a little bit of olive oil I got that just uh, you know sizzling hot just uh, below the level that sets off the smoke detectors in the house and I'm just gonna cook these scallops up quickly now these scallops usually I just do them uh, you know I get the pan as hot as I can and I'll do them uh, two to three minutes on the side depending on just how big they are you don't want to really overcook them because they can turn to rubber and you don't want to undercook them either So, uh, you know, it only, it only takes a couple minutes to put together, and this is just a, you know, really simple meal that we're going to have tonight. we got a Romanesque steamed up there. Got some potatoes that I did grow. Um, I threw a couple of old ones that had sprouted in the ground and just dug them up yesterday. So, you know, there are potatoes, and there's the Romanesque, and uh, just a couple scallops here. Just a nice, simple dinner, and boy, it was really good, and we enjoyed it. On the way home, we had stopped at uh, Costco, and they had these tiramisus there that we decided to try. And oh my God, were they good! Um, they came in little glass cups that actually are nice cider cups now, and um, they uh, they just really were amazing for dessert. They finished everything off nicely. 
I just thought that I'd show you some of the things that we don't grow anymore. And we just, um, you know, in the fall, we go down and get them fresh from the farmers at the uh, public market, which is a, you know, it's a great fun trip. And uh, it does get really crowded this time of the year. And it's funny, these potatoes are muck grown right down the road from us. And we have to make an 80 mile round trip to be able to buy them at a decent price. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.